بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وآله كما صليت على إبراهيم وآله وبارك على محمد وآله كما باركت على إبراهيم وآله إنك حميد مجيد أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بعد وتوكوني تفسير سورة القصص لو تنانزا آية نغابي Mna hakika Aoudhu billahi mna shaitani rajim Wa idha sami'u allahu wa aradu anhu Wa qalu lana amaluna wa lakum amalukum Salamun alaykum La nabtagi aljahilin anaendelea Mwenyezi Mungu katika ya hii kuwataja wale watu ambao wameunganisha imani 55 alqasas wale ambao wameunganisha imani kutoka imani ya kitabu cha Taurati mpaka kuja imani ya kitabu cha Qur'ani ambao mwanzo walikuwa wanamwamini nabii Musa aliyepewa Taurati alayhi salam pamoja na mitume waliofuata alafu wakaja wakamwamini nabii Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam pamoja na Qur'ani aliyopewa sasa anawaelezea miongoni mwa sifa zao pia katika aya ya 55 ya sura hii ya sura al-qasas ambayo ni 28 katika orodha ya sura za Qur'an aliposema wa idha sami'u al-lagwa na hata kule kwenye al-maida kawataja tena hasa ilikuwa inamwelekea na jashi aliyounganisha imani ya kumwamini nabii Isa alayhi salam na injil mpaka akaja kaamini Uislam akasema wa idha sami'u ma unzila ila rasul ni maida au sura gani? Ha? Mbona mnatumbulia macho? Tena sasa kwa nini amgongi mihuri ninaposema? Mnaionea tabu mihuri yenu na wino wenu? Hamjiamini? Ah ah, si tutarekebishana hapa. Hatusemi uongo hata. Tuasema kile tunachokikumbuka. Ukikosea utakumbushwa. Ha? Ndiyo, ndio 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 ninapokumbuka mimi sasa mimi mefundisha sana chuoni sio kwa sababu nimehifadhi Qur'ani yote hapana sababu mmefanya kazi zaidi na wenzangu ya kufundisha madrasa ndio kitu kinachokusaidia kukujenga is not that i memorize the Qur'an no 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 i know most of it because i was teaching children Qur'an in the madrasa so i was hearing i was making hearing from them So I became familiar with the Quran not that I memorize it Haya Kwa hivyo wa idha sami'u na wanaposikia Allah wa upuuzi aradhu anhu na wao wanaupuuza Hawa ushughuliki Hii nayo ni sifa yao wale kwamba makafiri walikuwa wakisema mnao kipuuzi dhidi ya Qur'ani na dhidi ya Mtume Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam hasa kuambia hawa ambao tayari walikuwa wana imani ya nabii mwingine na kitabu kingine kumponda nabii Muhammad na kuponda kitabu cha Qur'ani kwa maneno ya kipuuzi lakini wao walikuwa hayati manani wanayacha and when they hear nonsense they don't take it seriously they neglect it 
Aradu anu. They neglect, you know, neglecting. Eh? Behaving that as if you didn't hear. Wa ida sami ulagwa. Na wana posikia upuzi. Aradu anu. Na wawa wana upuza. Hawa utima anani. Wana achana nao. Mengi ya nasemwa. Zidi ya Nabi Muhammad na zidi ya Qur'ani wakati ule. Hasa kuambia watu ambao walikuwa na muamini Nabi Musa na kitabu kilicho tangu. Tangulia. Kwa njini mnakubali vipi. Kuongozi wana uyu mtu. Hajia soma mjingana nini. Maneno mengi sana. Lakini wawo hawati lima anani. Wanabaki kwenye msimamu waku muamini. Wakalu na husema. Lana amaluna. Tunavyo vitendo vietu. Walakum amalukum. Nanyi mnavyo vitendo vienu. Tuwacheni tufanya tunavotaka. Nanyi faneni mnavo. And they say. We have our deeds. And we, you have your own deeds. So let us do which we like to do. And let you do which you like to do. Don't interfere. Salamun alaikum. Amani iwe juu yenu. Kwa luka nzuri tu. Japu kuwa ulukuwa kiwa semesha ni makafiri. Na ni watu wabaya. Lakini wa uambia amani iwe juu yenu. Salamun alaikum. Hata manabi. Uwa wanawambia. Kala salamun alaikum. Wanawambia makafiri. Siku moja. Nilisema na noili. Kwa makafiri. Unaweza kumambia salamun alaikum. Jibu ndiyo. Iko hile ya kumombea amani ya akhera na ya kumombea amani ya nini? Ya dunia. Dunia ni unamtaki amani binadami yoyote. Sikosa. Na asili yake ni zile fitna za kisiasa za uku kwetu. Lipo hama chama plani kwa mia chama kingine. Ika mengi toa utuba kwenye mikutano ya kisiasa. Naanza salamu alaikum. Sasa orambia ucho chama kina makafiri. Unawatulea salamu bibi. Umona, wao kazi yao, utafukiri katika vya mafyao, watu wote wanaimani moja. Kumbe nao, hasa kwa upando jamure mungano, wana watu, waluko wanaimani vile vile kislamu. Lakin basi, wakitafuta na mna ya kukutia wedo sari, wana jifanya wana hoja nyingi, na wana masheke wao uchwara, wano wa shauri. Mena waita uchwara, kwa sababu gano? Kwa sabu wana msikiliza bosi ya nataka nini. Halafu ya na mshauri vila nifutaka bosi. Tunao pande zote. Mashekhe wa ina hiyo. Wana mzama mkubwa nataka nini. Hafu wana kuenda nae kama anavyotaka. Hawambi ile dini. Hawambi ile dini inavo. Inavo sema au inavotaka. Hili ditatizo. Ukisha kuwa mtu wa dini unazumza dini. Sema dini inavyo sema. Usijipendekeze. Jipendekeze kwa Allah tu. Mambu ya kwa kidunia utajujua. Lakini katika dini ya mwenyezi mungu Usitumia kwa thamani ndogo ya cheo Awe shima ukukaribishwa Unakua uchwara Hasa sii hapa Salamu na alaiku Amani iwe juu yenu Kuambia makafiri yao La nabitagil jahilina Hatu tafuti watu wajinga zizi Tuka waingiza ndani ya kundiletu Au tuka waunga mkonu sisi natafuta watu wenye kuelewa mambo tukawaingiza ndani ya kundi letu au tukaonga mkono ndani ya kundi lao. Kwa hivyo tayari pia washawambia nyie ni watu wajinga. Lakini wanawambia salamu na alaikum. Kwa hivyo kutoa salamu kwa sababu kwa Muislamu sikosa. Kwa ni kuna ubaya gani kumwombea amani? Oh, itakuwa na muombea pepo. Ndiyo, hata nki mbuwa pepo kwa mazingira hayo, hata ipata vipi bila kuslimu. Kwa kwa manake na muombe ya slimu, nita kwa kosa bado. Lakini ndo misimamo mikali, ina mashaka. Zipo hadithi, zinasema, idha lakitu mulkufara, fala atabda uhumbi salami. Mnopo kutana makafiri msi waanze kwa salamu, au nyingine, imesema li yahuda. Lakini hile ni wakati wa uhasama, wakati wa vita si wakati huu kwa mazingira kuishi kwa pa kwa pa moja na alo ni tatizo kwa tuwa islamu kutumia baadhi ya aya na baadhi ya hadith 
zinazohusu mazingira ya vita kukutumia katika mazingira nini ya amani and they say we have our deeds and you have your deeds so we have to do according to our deeds and you have to do according to your deeds salamu alaykum peace be upon you and this is been given to non muslims so it is not prohibited to say salamu alaykum for non muslim is not prohibited why because if you pray for him to be given peace maybe he will be muslim if it is in this life or after death so is no is not prohibited la nabtaghil jahilina we don't need ignorant people to join with us or we don't need ignorant people to join with them if they want to join with us they should understand and if we want to join them they should understand innaka ayn of water hakika wewe la tahdiman ahbabta hu muongozi uliyempenda walakin allah lakini mwenyezi mungu ya diman yashau hu muongoza anayemtaka au anayetaka kuongozwa kwa tafsiri lingine ya kina za makshari wa huwa alamu bil muhtadina na yeye anajua waliongoka ni akina nani aya ina maneno mengi kweli kweli wacha kwanza tuiangalie katika maana yake ya msingi innaka hakika wewe nani anaambiwa maneno haya kwa makubaliano ya wafasiri wa Qur'an kwamba ikiwa anaambiwa anta au innaka au kul sema maneno yote yanayomuelekezea mtu mmoja ndani ya Qur'an kwanza tutatafsiri kuwa anaambiwa mtume Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam kwa sababu Qur'an imeteremka kwake ye ndo aliosemeshwa kwanza indeed you the scholars of Quran translation agreed that any addressing of what you in the Quran first of all it returns to prophet Muhammad peace be upon him because this Quran sent to him first as Allah said iqra read he was talking to whom read and he said i cannot read iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq watlu alayhim naba ibn adam utlu ma uhiya ilayka recite recite so the first meaning is addressing prophet muhammad then we can look it if it sweet to another we will go to that another person but first of all is to prophet muhammad then the mass of time muslims they follow because is when your father been called come and you are with your father you should go like a cattle you have cow or goat when you take mother the son will fall ni kama ngombe akiwa na ndama kwa nini unahangaika na ndama unamchukua ngombe jike tunakwenda naye ndama anakwenda wapi ananuma numa atafuta nyuma mbuzi ndio hivyo hivyo kwa hivyo sisi si vizuri sana kujifananisha na mbuzi wa mtume sallallahu alaihi wasallam au ndama wake lakini akishaburuzwa yeye na si ndama lazima twende tumevamiana kwa sababu ya ndoa mbele it's not good to similarize prophet as a cow and we as a small cow but it's like that when he has been called so we are called also eh khatari innaka hakika wewe indeed you la tadi humuongozi man ahbabta uliyempenda kwa hivyo mtume anaambiwa huwezi kwa mapenzi yako tu wewe kumuongoza mtu kwa sababu unampenda kule kumpenda kwako hakutoshi kumuongoza yeye kuna uwezo mwingine wa nani wa Mwenyezi Mungu Subhanahu wa Ta'ala na hii inaonesha wazi kuwa mtume salama alikuwa anapenda sana baadhi ya watu waongoke wafate uislamu lakini hawakuongoka si lazima mtu mmoja maalum mtume salama alipenda Abu Jahl wa Muislam 
na yeye alikuwa anaitwa Amr ibn Hisham alikuwa mkorofi kwa kweli lakini alijua kwa Mtume Salam mtu huyu akislimu wakorofi wote watakuwa hawana maneno ni sawa sawa na baraza inamuuza bangi halafu akaamua kuacha biashara bangi na sasa anaadhini msikitini wale wateja wake wako watakao msikiliza wako watakao mpuza lakini utakuwa umevunja nguvu kubwa sana ya wale wateja wake na ile biashara kwa sababu ya ni kama nguzo ushaibaga ndio maana imepokewa kwenye hadithi kwamba usiku mmoja Mtume Salam alikuwa na masahaba wakasali sala usiku akaomba dua kubwa sana akasema e Mwenyezi Mungu muongoze mmoja katika Omar wawili aingie kwenye Uislamu akisema Omar wawili alikuwa anakusudia Omar ibn Khattab na Amr ibn Hisham wanayo tabia wanabu Amr na Omar kuwaita katika jina moja kama vile Hasan na Hussein ukasema kina Husseini au kina Hasani itakuwa Hasan na Hussein wameingia pamoja unatumia jina moja kwa wote wa wawili asubuhi yake akaslim said na Omar sasa mtume na maana alikuwa mmoja katika hawa anatamani aslim akampata mmoja mmoja akamkosa yoyote angeslimu angemkubali kwa hivyo mtume salama alikuwa anapenda watu waongoke lakini ndio anawakosa kwa sababu anajua kiongoka gharama zitakuwa ndogo wangeslimu wale vita visingetokea Abu Jahl Utba bin Rabia Umayya bin Khalaf Walid bin Mughira na 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 hii migogo ingeslimu wasingepigana vita wale sasa wale ndio wakorofi lakini Mwenyezi Mungu alishawaona kuwa hata wangeslimu wangeleta balaa huku kwenye Uislamu ni bora wakafe kule ukafirini sisi tupate salama innaka la tadiman ababta indeed you cannot guide whom you love maybe you love someone but you cannot guide him eh it the prophet is been told that you cannot guide whom you love unless allah guide him na sisi mashekhe vile vile tunatamani watu toe tu wote wa mashekhe hawawi tena wanaweza kutokea wanafunzi wako wakawazidi wanao mie mmoja na wanangu wawili nimeweka kwenye line lakini hawajafikia wanafunzi wangu bado wanasuasua najitahidi lakini wanachukuliwa na mambo wengine ndio hawamu kabisa katika orodha wala sina matarajio na mwachia Mungu tu wakisha kufanya hizo ibada zao alhamdulillah nashukuru Mungu hawajawa majambazi hawajawa wakorofi basi utapenda lakini hayawi kama unavyopenda umenifahamu umecheka hapo kwa sababu naye unalijua hilo tena wale ambao hawataki kukufuata wakawa mashekhe ndio anafanana na wewe kwa sura shenzi type tashika dabi yako baba yao shekhe wao habari hawana hiyo kusali mbinde mpaka muhamasishane makelele wewe wewe haya alfajiri sasa wewe wewe ukiwepo ndio hayo ukiwa upo tau ya juu yanayotokea mashaka matupu sasa na mtume anaambia wewe innaka la tadi man indeed you cannot guide whom you love walakin allah lakini mwenyezi mungu ya adiman yashau anamuongoza anayetaka but allah guides whom he wants to guide ingawa za maksari nasema Mwenyezi Mungu anamuongoza anayetaka kuongoka ile mani ya shau sio wanaposema ibn kathir na walio wengi Mwenyezi Mungu anamuongoza anayemtaka Ismail there is a scholar among muslim scholars his name is Abdul Rahman Zamakhshari in his translation it is been called al-kashaf mean the torch or the lighter He says ya di man yasha Allah guides whom he himself likes to be guided the one who like not the one Allah likes him the one himself 
like to be guided. Huh? He takes an effort to be guided. Not Allah only to, to send guidance to him if he doesn't want. Man yashau. Anaye taka au anaye mm. Jamura sema ya di man yashau anaye mm. Taka. When you put mm in Kiswahili, it means Allah chosen him. When you remove mm, you remove mm. It means himself chosen to be guided. <laughs> Sasa Mungu anamuongoza na mtaka au Mungu anamuongoza anayetaka kuongozwa. Mnakubaliana za makshari au Ibn Kathir. Jamhur. Tumelelewa na hiyo ya Jamhur kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu anamuongoza amtakaye. Lakini za makshari anasema mbona kuna aya nasema fa man sha'a falyu'min wa man sha'a falyakfu. Anayetaka naamini na anayetaka na kufuru. Kwa hivyo utashinwa ke mwenyewe. Whoever wants to believe should believe and whoever wants not to believe should not to believe for man sha'a fal yu'min you remember this verse for man sha'a fal yakfur the one who wants to believe can believe and the one the one wants to blaspheme can blaspheme is up to him mimi naona za makhshari ana hoja japokuwa walio wengi wanamtandika mekwaju ndo Watu wengine uniona mimi mtu wa ajabu sana. Naweza kukubali kauli, haikubaliwi na wengi. Kisima unaona Shamsa bana anatoa matafsiri yake, si tafsiri zangu bana. Lakini kuna maeneo na mie kwani sina haki ya kusema alivyofahamu. Kwani Qurani imeteremka kwa mtume peke yake. Na masahaba pia, masahaba peke yao. Na matabina pia, matabina peke yao. Na mashekhe pia. Wazama zile peke yao na zama hizi pia hatuumona si sasa tukisema letu oh kwa nini kasema lake ingekuwa linapingana na Qur'ani linapingana na hadithi sahihi ya Mtume Salamu angalau linapingana na makubaliano anazoni angalau lakini ni eneo la kujivinjari kila mmoja akatanua viungo vyake unalaumu vipi na mimi natanua misuli hutaagiacha na nayo shika ile unoitaka kuna ugomvi gani Eh? Hakuna. Aseme kaitoa wapi? Wapi nimeitoa? Umu mu ndani ya Qur'an. Ndio nilivyofahamu. Hmm. Tendeni. Wa huwa aalamu bil mutadin. Na ye anajua waliongoka ni akina nani. And he knows whom have been guided. He knows them. Whom are in the right way Allah knows them wa qalu na walisema inna tabi'i alhuda ikiwa tutafuta uongofu maaka pamoja na wewe nani anayeambiwa maneno haya ndio yale yale tulosema kuwa maneno yanamuelekea yeye nutakhattaf tutanyakuliwa nyakuliwa min ardhina katika nchi yetu khatafa ni kupora au kunyakuwa tutaporwa porwa katika nchi yetu tutanyakuliwa nyakuliwa unaweza kutumia kunyakuwa au kupora wazaramu daslama pale walikuwa kimponda mtu mwizi wasema nyakuzi hilo nyakuzi manake nini ananyakuwa na pora vitu anakimbia yule mwizi anaiba haraka akaondoka yule ni mnyakuzi au mporaji ananyakuwa sasa nutakhattaf tutanyakuliwa nyakuliwa au tutaporwa porwa katika nchi yetu tutanyanganywa ndo muradi wake lakini neno lenyewe na litafsiri lilivyo neno lilotumika angeweza kutumia neno jengine lakini katumia nutakhattaf kwa hiyo tutachukua zile maana za kupora na kunyakuliwa ambao maana yake ni kunyanganywa ndio ndio kusudiwa ikiwa tutafuta uongofu pamoja na wewe. Kwa nini makafiri watu wakisingizio hichi? Cha kwamba tukifuata unapotaka we Muhammad tutanyanganywa inchi. Inaonekana mfumo wao ulikuwa ni mfumo wa kutokukubali wageni. Ilikuwa ni wao tu makuraishi wapeane wenyewe kwa Sasa Mtume Salamu anakubali. Bilali alikuwa mtumwa, kakombolewa na Muislamu. 
Suhaibu Rumi alikuwa kauzwa huko na Warumi wataliana kakombolewa akawa Muislam na 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 Amar bin Yasir na wazee wake walikuwa na kaa pale kwa masharti wamekombolewa wamekuwa huru sasa naona kama vile anakubali wageni hivi watatunyang'anya kwa hivyo akasema tukikufuata we tutaipoteza nchi maana wao wanakubali wageni siku moja kuna mtu mmoja alitamka neno kule markaz lilinikera sana aligundua kuwa watu wanokuja kusoma sana kwangu kwa muda mwingi sana ni watu wenye asili ya kisiwa cha Pemba au wanaotoka bara watu wengi wa kisiwa cha Unguja hawaji kusoma pale wanakuja kisi wengi siku hizi kidogo angalau wameongezeka wanaotoka mashamba hasa ya kaskazini Unguja basi akasema akasema Shem Saba anawafundisha nini hao Ushae wote utakwenda kwa wabara na wapemba. Mm. Markazi mle kuna mtu kasema. Nikaambia una adabu ya mpumbavu. Sisi tunafundisha Muislamu anayetaka kusoma popote anapotoka duniani. Hii dini si mali ya Zanzibar wala mali ya bara wala ya Pemba wala ya Tanganyika. Hii ni mali ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Yoyote anayetaka tunampa. Tumevamiana. Tuna matatizo baadhi yetu nikaambia wewe hutaki kusoma hujamleta mwana wote mmoja nimsomeshe halafu wanaotoka sehemu nyingine wakija kusoma ni wafukuze vipi itakuwa ni haki kweli ujinga sipendi mambo hayo dini si mali ya mtu dini si mali ya kabila dini si mali ya nchi dini mali ya Mungu anayetaka atapewa fikra za kikafiri wa qalu inna tabil huda ma kanu taqattaf min ardina wakasema tukifuata uongofu pamoja na wewe tutanyakuliwa nyakuliwa tutaporwa porwa au kwa neno moja tutanyanganywa katika nchi yetu madaraka uwezo na mambo kadha wa kadha and they said if we follow the guidance with you as you want islam foreigners will take our country Foreigners will take our country. Nutakhattaf we will be taken in our own country. Why? Nutakhattaf is taking faster. Like that you have a, that bad kipanga or mwewe ego. That bad with the turning mouth when he, he sees small hands can come faster and take it. That it, kupora au kunyakuwa eh nutakhattaf fatakhtafu at-tayr au tahwi bihi ar-ri'u ila makanin sahiq sura gani hiyo sura gani haji ndio mbona mnatia wasiwasi au ndio yale yale ya kusita sita fatakhtafu at-tayr au tahwi bihi ar-ri'u fi makanin sahiq watampora ndege au tampeperusha upepo kwenda mahala pambali sasa iko tafuta uongofu pamoja na wewe tutanyakuliwa tutaporwa katika nchi yetu kwa sababu why they said so because they saw prophet muhammad welcoming foreigners in islam like bilal is a black person so if we follow you bilal will be a leader and we don't want to be led by Bilal and another is Amar son of Yasir his, his origin is of Yemen not Mecca and so I be Rumi also coming from Roman Empire and 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 many among the Sahabas so they wanted to judge Prophet Muhammad according to his group the members of his group they don't want them higher twende mbele wale wasoma kiingereza watafaidika kilichowapita kando watatumbua nini pesa zao awalam numakin lahum mwenyezi Mungu asema je hatujawaimarishia hawa haraman mji mtukufu aminan wenye amani awalam numakin lahum je hatujawaimarishia haraman mji mtukufu aminan wenye amani mji wa maka 
mbona wao hawana jeshi ukilinganisha na nchi nyingine waliambiwa kule faliabudu rabba hadal bait alladhi at'amahum min ju'i wa amanahum waliambiwa li ila fi quraish ila fihim rihlata shita'i wasayyi kwa mazoea ya makuraish mazoea yao ya safari za kiangazi na kipupwe kwa faida yao basi wamwabudu Mola wa nyumba hii ambaye kawalisha mahala ambapo wana njaa na kawapa amani mahala ambapo pana nini pana hofu waarabu wote na watu wote wa Asia kwa zama zile waliheshimu maka na walikuwa wanashikana mikono e, e, mkifika kule msifanye fujo asirushe mtu atajiwe msipore watu msiibe msifanye hivi na maka yenyewe haina mashamba jangwa tupu watu wakijua wanaleta vyakula mimi nilipokwenda umra maka kwa mara ya kwanza nikitokea Madina usiku saa kumi za usiku ndo tunamaliza kufanya umra tumefanya usiku mkubwa nimepita mahala nimekuta mapera yanauzwa haya mapera nikaitiza mali maka na jangwa lake wallahi ilitoka machozi halioti pera pale mapera yanasafirishwa mpaka maka yujuba ilayhim samaratu kulli shay wanapelekwa matunda kila kitu yani mwenyezi mkuu kaufanya ule mji pamoja na kama ni jangwa lakini ukifika huamini kama hili ni jangwa kutoka nane ya mazinazo ataama hum min juin kawalisha mahala pampanja wa amana hum na akawapa amani min khaufin mahala penye hofu hakuna mtu anaipiga sasa wana wasiwasi gani kuwa wakiingia wageni wale muamini nabii Muhammad ambao wamezaliwa pale pale maka wana asili tu za mbali watawanyanganya nini sasa mbona miaka yote wamepata riziki zao na walikuwa na amani mataifa yenyewe hayakwenda kupiga wala kuteka aje achukue bilal nchi aje achukue amar bin yasir aje achukue swaib rumi hiki kilikuwa kisingizio tu cha kukataa jambo na waswahili wa kusema akufukuzae akwambii toka kwa hivyo walitafuta visingizio sasa mwenyezi Mungu anasema awalam numakin lahum haraman amina didn't we make a strong place of them to worship and peace haram is a place of worship and amina and peace so why they fear if muhammad has followers non arabs while none among arabs and not arabs can fight mecca mecca is a peace so they shouldn't fear yujuba ilai kupelekwa katika mji huo samaratu kulli shay matunda ya kila kitu kama nilivyokuambia it been sent to that city fruits of everything while mecca is desert and you can find there fruit any kind of fruit even banana while banana trees is not there even mbwanda you can see there mbwanda with the different kinds you know mbwanda you have white mbwandas red mbwandas that blackish that of dots green there are green mbwandas marage ndio mbwanda kwa lugha kwao mbwanda nyinyi mnaita mbwanda pia eh na nyie wa makonde mbwanda achimene ngule ukemeje nchale ukutaye mchale that is of mozambique is is of tanzania nearby mozambique also in the language of mozambique is mbwanda marage kuna aina mbali mbali za marage kuna marage ya vidoto vidoto kuna marage soya soya meupe ya rangi ya njano kuna marage mekundu kuna marage meusi na kwa mengine ya kijani hasa ndomeni mekaa miaka miwili kigoma 
Nimekula sana soya. Basi maka mpaka maharage utayakuta. Wakati ya kuoti mite mara. You can see mbwanda in Mecca. Well Mecca they don't dig mbwanda. They don't have farms of mbwanda. Everything is there. Samaratu kulishe. Matunda ya kila kitu ya napelekwa. Been sent to them. That is a bless of Allah. Yujuba ilayi kuletu wakati kamji huo. Samaratu kulishe. Matunda ya kila kitu. Rizkan miladuna. Hiyo ni rizki kutoka kwetu. It's a, 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 it's, it's a food from us, not from them. Because it comes from different countries. They don't have in their country. Risk is provision. It's been called provision. Like dish food, eh? Provision. Risk amiladunna. Provision from us. Risky kutoka kwetu. Walakin aksara umlai alamuna. Lakini wengu wao. Hawatambui jambo hili. Sabo waliti katika mazingatio. Unajua mtu kijiona kila kitu kipo. Kama walipo sema suwa hili mwenye shibe. Hamjui mwenye nini? Mwenye njaa. Kwa wao, sabu wana utajiri, wana nini, vitu wana viona tu, basi hawa zingati. Wao kitaka kujua samani ya kitu, fikiria kama kisinge kuwepo. Ndo utajua samani yaki. Au kisinge kuwa hapo, umegemea nguzo, pasinge kuwa na nguzo, ungeka hapipi hapo. Utona haa, kumbe nguzo, ina uzuru wake. Inge kwa memekali ya kistuli, unafukinge kwa kazi yangu kucheza chezebe. Inge kwa shapia tiktaka na masimiote shapindua. Kwa hivyo kitaka kujua samani ya kitu, fikiria kama kisinge kuwepo, ungefanya nini. If you want to know a value of anything, just think that if it was not there, how it could be, then you will know the value of that thing. When you are thirsty and the water is there, think that if the water was not there, how could you be in trouble? So, if you want to know a value of anything, think otherwise. <coughs> think that if it was not there, how it could be the situation. <coughs> so Mecca, there's no water. It's a dry land. But everything is brought there. If could it be brought in trouble. So they should think so. But unfortunately, until now, People of Mecca, they don't think. They said, oh, Allah loves us. Allah, Allah. Of course, but for this religion, if not this religion. Rizqa mil ladunna. Walakin naksara nasi la alamuna. But many people, they don't know that right. Wakam ahlak na min kariyatin. Na vingapi tumengi angamiza katika vijiji. He come hapa, ngapi, inaulizwa, inaitua kam khabaria, haitui kam istifamia katika nahu. Kam istifamia, ni ile no uliza. Kam khabaria, ni ile no tuata, taarifa. Nenda kwa sheka fulani, ukasome, watu wangapi wanasoma kwake. Hapa, hapa, tajiki jawabu. Ni kwamba watu wengi wanasoma kwake. Una, una matatizo nenda hospitali fulani watu wangapi walikuwa na matatizo kama wewe umetibiwa pale hii wangapi hapa hii ulizi usio kasema 26 a a manake ni watu watu wengi au mzee anakuambia mara ngapi nishakwambia we sitaki mambo haya unaambia baba nafikiri mara tatu atakukata kibao yani mara ngapi nishakwambia manake nimekwambia mara nyingi the word how many, how many in language is, is being used for two purposes. The one is to ask about counting things. How many shillings you have, for example. But sometimes it's been used to inform that many things have been done. For example, your father became angry and said, how many times I told you that don't do this thing? Don't reply, say, you told me three times. He will give you a fist. He means many times I told you that is come. How many? Sometimes is of 
expressing many times or many things. And this is the one among those. Wakamba halakna. Na vingapi tumepiangamiza menkariatin katika vijiji. Na mara nyingi inakuja min mbele yake. Na kama hiji min inasababisha kisra. Ndio maana ukisema kami yaumin sumta na ukisema kami yauman sumta ni vitu viwili tofauti. Ukisema kami yaumin sumta siku ngapi umefunga hakuulizi maana yake anakuambia umefunga siku nyingi. Akombe kami yauman sumta siku ngapi umefunga anakuuliza. Akitia fatha anauliza, akitia kisra anaeleza haulizi inakuja kwenye mtihani wa Kiarabu hiyo kam yauman sumta wa kam yaumin sumta udkuril farqa baina kamil ula wa kamil thaniya mtihani huo unaitwa kam yauman sumta wa kam yaumin sumta mmoja imetiwa fata mbili mmoja imetiwa kisra mbili alafu naambiwa taja tofauti baina kam mbili hizi ile ya kwanza na ile mwisho maksi kumi tatoka mafua natafuta inga chifu unatia mate kwenye macho yaliona vizuri ya mwanzo ukamkabaria ya pili kama istifani mustafa when after come come comes kasra tena ukasra it means how many or how much when comes fata uh, when comes fata is how many or how much when come kasra it means many things so when i say kam yauman how many days kam yaumin many days when i put kasra is many when i put fata is how many eh? okay. this is arabic not english english only sound can make you understand how many times i told you how many times i told you this is a question how many times i told you now this is not a question eh huh? <laughs> mustafa na una raha tu mimi nikimpiga anaona kama mjomba wake eh okay when i shout is blame when i i'm i am i'm a very in a very soft sound is a question how many times i told you how many times i told you you know the difference when i'm polite is a question when i'm shouting is a blame umeona mara ngapi nimekuambia nikipandisha sauti na kulaumu lakini kisho sauti mara ngapi nimekuambia na kuuliza kiswahili in kiswahili and many african languages the sound determines sauti ndo naamua kwenye Kiswahili na lugha nyingine za Kiafrika. Wa kama halak na min qaryat na vingapi tumepiangamiza katika vijiji and how many villages we destroyed it. Now this how many is not of question. Is how many of enlarging a number. Batirat maishata yalifanya walifanyia kiburi maisha yao. Batirat maishata Vijiji vile viliyafanyia kiburi maisha yake tumeviangamiza. Kwani kijiji kinaweza kufanya kiburi? Watu wa kijiji. Lakini mbona hapa kasema batirat ile te inarudi kwenye qaryatin? Vijiji vingapi tumeviangamiza kwa sababu ya kufanya ki, kufanyia kiburi maisha yake? Hakusudi vijiji, anakusudia watu wa vi? Ndio yale tunayosema. Ule msikiti unaitwa msikiti magumi. Kwani msikiti unaweza kupigana ngumi? Unaopigana ngumi ni nani sasa? Kwa nini sasa umeitwa msikiti magumi? Kwa sababu umetokea ndani ya msikiti huo. Kuna msikiti mjini kule unaitwa Masjid Haula, Halwa, msikiti Halwa, uko Malindi. Ikimalize ka wiki haijapita Halwa, usiswali tena hapo. Kila wiki nashuka Halwa japo mara moja. Watu wakaita Masjid Halwa. Kwa nini msikiti umetengenezwa kwa Halwa? au kwa halua inaliwa sana humo. Eh? Huko msikiti ulikuwa unaitwa Masjid Marashi. Kwa sababu alkila alhamisi wakipiga Maulidi. 
ikifika pale ya nabiyu salamu alaika watu wapiga mabega kumbe huko vitu vinatokota yanarushwa marashi kwa hivyo kila alhamisi ukitoka unanukia ukaitwa msikiti marashi kwani umetengenezwa kwa marashi au alipoponda udongo walitumia marashi kwa hivyo tuliviangamiza vijiji hivyo kwa nini vilifanyia kiburi maisha yake sio vijiji vilivyofanya kiburi ni watu wa tumevamiana and how many villages we destroyed because been arrogant their lives the people they become arrogant me and me only eh huh? no one can carry luggage of another because he feels i'm i'm sad so the luggage cannot be carried everyone should carry his own luggage no matirat maishata waliyafanya kiburi maisha yake fatil kama sakinum yale makazi yao yatazameni na wao walikuwa kisafiri kwenda Yemen au kwenda Syria wanaona vijiji vilivyoangamizwa wanaona magofu kama kule marhubi ukipita unaona ile magofu ya zamani sana ale. lakini kule kuna sababu nyingine sasa kuna vijiji ukipita unakuta tu zilipokuwa nyumba palipokuwa mabaraza na nini vimebomoka makazi hayana watu kwa vijiji vilivyoanga angamizwa mimi kwenda kilwa kisiwani kuna kisiwa kimezama tunapita kwa ngarawa maji marefu zaidi kuliko msikiti marefu kama mnazi alafu kutazama chini unaziona nyumba nguzo nini sehemu ya baraza waliishi watu umefunikwa na maji ndani ya bahari kilwa kilwa kisiwani nimekwenda nimeona kwa macho yangu sasa huko kwingine unapita na kiona sasa kijiji kimekufa imbakia misingi tu Mwenyezi Mungu aliwaambia watu watembee wayaone qul siru fil ardi fanduru kaifa kana aqibatul ladhina min qablikum sema tembeeni katika dunia hii mkatizame vipi ilikuwa hatma ya walioishi kabla yenu fatil kama sakinum basi yale makazi yao lam tuskan min ba'dihim haya kukaliwa baada ya wao kuangamizwa illa qalila isipokuwa kwa muda mfupi au isipokuwa na watu kidogo hii khalila inakuja katika maana mbili hakukaliwa sio kwa muda mfupi au hakukaliwa sio kwa na watu ki kidogo tutatizama tuone na kusudiwa muda mfupi au watu kidogo au tutaacha kila mmoja atizame anachokiunga mkono lakini ngoja nimsaidie huyu fatil kabuyutu so that fatil kama sakinu that is their settlement settlement houses when arabs and some muslim passing through some villages which had been destroyed before the some signs are remain there so they can see that this place it was a village and now is uh fatil kabuyutu fatil fatil kama sakinu in another verse katika nyingine kasema fatil kabuyutu mwe hapa kasema fatil kama sakinu that is their settlement in another verse said that is their houses buyut settlement and buyut when you say settlement it can be tent it can be cave settlement is wide when you say houses it should be a house fatil kabuyut fatil kama sakinu lam tuskan min ba'dim did it stay in after them no one stayed in after them it remains ruins we call it you know ruins illa qalila except little little time or little people stayed in it two translation two translations little people or little time illa qalila isipokuwa na watu kidogo wengi walihama au isipokuwa muda mdogo na wao wakafanyaje wakaondoka sasa chagua mwenye nani anaweza kutuambia tuunge mkono ipi isipokuwa watu kidogo 
au isipokuwa muda mdogo ni wala unaona tufanyeje tuseme isipokuwa watu kidogo au isipokuwa muda mdogo zote zinawezekana ipi unaiunga mkono zaidi muda kwamba imekaliwa kwa muda mdogo wewe una unaje tarika muda mdogo au watu kidogo watu kidogo kwa sababu miangamizi watabaki mtu ndio hazikukaliwa baada yao ila kalila isipokuwa na watu kidogo au isipokuwa muda mdogo didn't stay the houses after them except few or except little few time or little people which translate you agree among the two little time not little people haya kwa hivyo tunaliacha huru hilo isipokuwa watu kidogo au isipokuwa muda muda kidogo kila mmoja ashike ikhtalafa alulama fi hadha almasjid ala qawlayni wa kunna nahlu alwarithin na tukawa sisi ndio warithishaji tukawa sisi ndio warithi shaji kumrithisha tunayetaka yani imekwenda miaka aje mtu sasa chukua hapa mahala anza tukawa sisi ndio warithi shaji alwarithin sio tulorithi mungu warithi kitu warithi shaji yani tukawapa watu watu wengine and we were us who made others inherited the places another people came and take the place kwa leo tufike hapa wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh atuna maswali